Have you ever used your phone to find your way around town? Maybe to locate a restaurant or avoid traffic? That's made possible by GPS, the global positioning system. But did you know that without Einstein's theory of relativity, GPS wouldn't even work properly? It's not just about signals. It's about time, gravity, and the nature of space itself. In the early 1900s, Albert Einstein was working as a patent clerk, but his mind was light years ahead. He asked strange questions like, what would it be like to ride a beam of light? And in 1905, he published the special theory of relativity. It said, when something moves really fast, time slows down. This is called time dilation. Ten years later, in 1915, he introduced the general theory of relativity. He revealed something deeper that gravity bends space and time. The stronger the gravity, the slower time flows. That might sound abstract. But these two ideas would one day become the foundation for how GPS works. So, how does GPS actually work? There are around 30 satellites orbiting Earth at about 20,000 kilometers up. Each one constantly sends out a signal that says, here I am. And here's the exact time. Your phone picks up signals from at least four of these satellites. It measures how long the signals took to reach it. Since the signals travel at the speed of light, your phone can calculate how far away each satellite is. Then it draws imaginary spheres around them. Where the spheres intersect, that's your location. This method is called triangulation. But here's the twist, these satellites are moving really fast, about 14,000 km per hour. According to special relativity, that motion slows down their clocks by about 7 microseconds every day. And because the satellites are far from Earth's gravity, general relativity says their clocks actually tick faster by about 45 microseconds per day. Do the math, 45 minus 7 equals 38 microseconds faster every day. That may seem tiny. But without correction, GPS would drift off by up to 10 kilometers per day. That's enough to take you from the road to the river. So engineers correct for Einstein's equations. They adjust the satellite clocks before launch. And ground stations on Earth keep everything synchronized. Einstein's time math is literally built into GPS. Today, GPS is everywhere. Your phone, your car, your watch, they all depend on it. Planes use it to fly safely. Farmers use it to plant with precision. Rescue teams use it to save lives. Businesses use GPS to track shipments. Apps use it to deliver food. Even scientists use it to study earthquakes and climate change. But what's truly amazing is this, none of it would work without Einstein. His theories of time and gravity are running quietly in the background every second of every day. Einstein once said, imagination is more important than knowledge. He didn't build a GPS satellite. He didn't write an app. But his ideas transformed our world. So next time you see that little blue dot on your phone, guiding you to a cafe, or helping you avoid traffic, remember, it's not just technology. It's space-time. It's physics. It's Einstein. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe to Magnifying Physics, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video. See you next time.